Hi guys, welcome to this short review about the up here CPU air cooler. This is a quite interesting thing actually it's pretty cheap on Amazon and it comes with RGB color and looks actually pretty good reviews are a little bit mixed but I mean actually you get a lot for the price you get the adapt you get everything what you need uh, also here these screws to uh, clamp it down on the motherboard and uh, yeah here's some instructions but really not a lot I'm showing you this if you need that maybe you bought it without instructions or you just want to check out what it is what you can do here AMD installation hope it helps a little bit so my experience with that is really bad and it really matches some of the bad reviews on Amazon. Some say even uh, it couldn't even cool down or keep cool an iceberg. Yeah, it, it really matches this and what I have found really a problem is with these clamps here. There's a metal spring to mount you put this down uh, with the screws of course and then you have to clamp it somewhere here and this is some this is really hard to push down and yeah at the end you will end up with something like that hope you can see that and you cannot just push it down to release you have to somehow push it down and yeah pull it out it's it's really difficult usually you start with this side but it's about uh, pretty much same thing here i mean to mount it's pretty easy you can just pull it down but then to release can be super super hard you have to somehow push this thing down and grab it uh, or from the side or yeah how you can, ever you can do that and pull it out it's it's it was sometimes really super hard but anyway that's not the big problem I mean that's one of the problems but it's not the big problem the big problem is just it's pulling down too hard actually I mean we tried it and it was somehow working on the CPU but the pressure which uh, puts down the whole fan is too hot actually and it could literally destroy the CPU or make it overheating or yeah not working or whatsoever it's not good to have so much pressure it's definitely too much pressure and even with so much pressure and a perfect thermal paste we had it absolutely perfect or uh, between here and the CPU because we checked when we uh, took it away after that it was perfectly uh, everywhere and it didn't cool the CPU enough and yeah even with not even 100% CPU the temperature got really high to 95 uh, degrees Celsius and it was not even on 100% so we stopped that and yeah I've never seen something like that I mean usually when even when you buy a CPU fan for 10 bucks you can expect some decent cooling but uh, this is even a little bit more I think it was $15 or so but you don't you definitely don't get decent cooling what you get you get a nice light of course but only if you have an RGB um, motherboard so here you can see uh, what kind of plugs you get here so hope it's focusing more or less so you can see this fits for a normal power adapter and for RGB uh, color control but uh, what it doesn't fit is like to the controller of other 
up here uh, call case fans so uh, we heard this complaint also from other people they were expecting that if you don't have an RGB motherboard and you want to control this by the controller of the adhere uh, case fans I mean they have these case fans really nice set you get about five of these fans RGB fans for about only I think yeah, 15 20 dollars as well can't remember the exact price but they are super cheap and you would think you can just connect it there and then control everything with the same remote remote control like the case fans and the CPU can CPU fans so they have same color it doesn't work and I haven't found any kind of adapters or something like that so it just basically doesn't work unless you have an RGB motherboard so to repeat bottom line three really big problems it's not cooling enough first then second this bracket is really difficult to mount and even more to release and the pressure is too much and third thing is with these uh, plugs which don't fit to the RGB controller of the uh, up here case fans. By the way, another big problem with that, as you can see, this dirt cheap instructions. There is no uh, website, there is no support email, there is really nothing and same thing on the case there is no contact information here the product number but no manufacturer nothing no hotline no nothing so i'm done here is the thing it goes back into package and back to amazon because it's not possible to keep a decent cpu cool so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time